Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody, and thank you so much for being with us. We began at City Hall, where aldermen are considering big settlements for victims who say they were tortured by Chicago police. Joni Lum is in the loop at this hour. And Joni, some of these cases go all the way back to the 1970s, and they involve a name that sadly we've all become too familiar with. Darlene, what happened under police commander John Burge has been called a reign of terror that has cost the city millions of dollars in payouts. Um, it's a dark part of Chicago's past, but will be given recognition when the Chicago City Council offers a formal apology. City Council is expected to pass a $5.5 million compensation fund to be paid to victims of uh, torture and abuse under Burge's command from 1972 to 1991. This is for those who haven't already sued the city. City. Mayor Emanuel has formally apologized, but the ordinance offers the city's acknowledgement and an apology for the victim's suffering. Dozens of men say they were beaten, threatened, and shocked with electricity to force their confessions. It's pure hell. I felt, you know, he shocked me. I was suffocating. Three, four times I thought I was dead, but he lifted me up and brought me back. And each time, you know, I'm looking for somebody to come, you know, stop this because I ain't never had this before. Now, I, I mean, we, we used to get beat about police and stuff like that. You know, that Just say I'm sorry. And I think that they deserve that more than anything. Say we're sorry. But mine's is always, how did you let it go on this long? How did you let it go on from 72 to 91 or however long it was? How did our administration, our police officers, our, our sergeants, our lieutenants, our captains allow this to go on all of that time? I think that was just extremely insensitive and everybody turned a blind eye. It is an emotional issue and a council is in session right now. Every alderman is expected to rise to speak on this issue, uh, which is going to make Chicago one of the first cities in the country to recognize police torture and brutality. Part of this deal includes that this part of Chicago's history will be taught in Chicago public schools. Burge, he did time for lying about torture. He now lives in Florida where he still receives a police pension. Uh, this issue has not come out, uh, come up in city council. They haven't taken action just yet. Live at City Hall, Joni Lum, Fox 32 News.